you dropped everything and headed to Valdez, Alaska, people might think you wanted to be a big fish in a little pond. But that's because they haven't seen the ponds up here. And they definitely haven't seen the fish. Come to Alaska with Mark, I'm gonna pass that up, you'd be crazy. He could pretty much call anyone in the world and they'd drop whatever they were doing. I've been skiing with Rory since back in the day when we were bumpers. Bumping our way down and doing twister twister spreads. Dean Cummins has been here for 23 years and seeing his passion makes you realize all that this area has to offer. Coming to Valdez in 91, I never thought I would leave New Mexico, but when I got to Alaska, it was just like, wow, this place wins. Being the place that opened up big mountain skiing to the world, kind of sets the trend for other sports. Having a guy like Dean cruising us around, it's pretty fail safe. In the middle of nowhere, but he knows every single peak, all the different runs that are coming down, all the different river valleys and fishing holes. We get so much snow in the Chugach range, anywhere from 80 to 100 feet of snow a year. This is August. What? You didn't think Roy Bushfield and Mark Abma just came here to fish, did you? Country, summer corn snow is called hero snow because you can get away with just about anything on it. But this is still Alaska, and it's not a place you want to press your luck. It's completely different in the summer compared to the winters. In the winter, we ski over crevasses all the time, and we don't even know they're there. But when you can see that they're there, it's a little scarier. Up there with Dean and Abma, feel safe in the mountains with those two. And it was. Such a freeing experience. Nobody's telling you where to turn or how to turn. That feeling of freedom is pretty special these days. It's the lifestyle and the freedoms that made me commit to living here, harvest your own food. They're Alaskans. They're never going anywhere else. And what the locals do here on an average day, I love that it. it makes you more responsible as a human, that you're not just going down these highways and expecting that the signs are all there and that the guardrails are all there and all these things to keep you safe. Being on the edge is being alive. And right here in Alaska, you got that right at your fingertips. People should get out and, and try to feel that. I've been to Alaska quite often in the wintertime and coming out to Valdez during the summertime, I definitely gained a whole new appreciation for the planet that we live on. You just pinch yourself. Next thing you know, you have something to challenge you and to keep your senses really alive. It's not easy settling into, into this kind of environment, but these people really found a passion for being in and amongst all this nature here, and I think that's a really bold move that the people took to, to make it out here. It's not the size of the fish, it's the motion in the ocean. You know it, bro. 